I'm Jim Hamilton. I'm a group director with InfoTrends. And what I'd like to talk to you about in, in this video is how you can print on colored stock if you have a, a white. And this is a digital print method actually using the Oki C942, uh, which has the ability to print with white. And so here you can, you know, see how on this very nice blue stock they've used white in a neat design fashion uh, and actually laid in some white underneath where the other colors um, come in so that it, it provides a real uh, bright, sharp view. You know, here uh, is another example, another uh, menu kind of piece. Uh, very nicely done on the substrate. It's nice. It stands out. And again, the white allows you to, uh, to design in a way that you might not normally with just, uh, just four colors. Um, again, very simple use of white here but sophisticated for, in this case, a you know, menu for some kind of uh, special event. Um, here are some, uh, some labels, so, or you know, um, could even be business cards. But uh, in this case, uh, it's white being printed for some of the text, but also underneath some of the text, white is being laid in so that the, the process colors come out and really uh, you know, show things off. Now, the folks at Oki did a very, very nice job of explaining how that is done, and you know whether this is going to show up too well on the uh, uh, on the video is hard to say. But you can see here they've shown what this would look like if you printed without the white behind the process colors. So you may be able to see a sort of a faint reflection of pasta in there uh, where you lay down in a black stock. You don't have much luck printing on black if all you've got is CMYK because it's usually the white of the paper that is that fifth color and comes through and, and shows everything off. Now, of course, if you lay white uh, underneath it, then the image code shows up and appears. And in fact, you can use white in varying levels to get additional effects if you want. So I love the sample, how they're showing how uh, white is used in this case. Now, from their product line, they also do have the ability to do a, uh, a clear. and. There's a watermark on these business cards, and you know again whether well, the video is going to pick it up. But across across this page, there are numerous little okies there, and again we'll see if this will show up. But the use of that white or that clear in this case uh, shows you know can be used as a watermark, as a security method, as a, some sort of design feature. So um, very interesting set of samples that I picked up at Graph Expo in 2016. I particularly like this one because of the way that it can be used in a real nice educational manner for a designer who uh, you know, wants to use these sorts of capabilities.